Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. This is Eisenetz again and today I want to share my thoughts on why I think that most CDH primers kind of suck. And I also want to share my thoughts on what actually makes a good primer and how to write one. Some of you guys actually know me from the primers I wrote or co-authored and especially the Urza primer. And trust me when I tell you that writing a primer and maintaining it is a lot of work. You really need to be dedicated to flesh out something useful for the community. And I personally take a little bit of pride in the primers I wrote or co-authored, especially because of all the positive feedback I get for them. A well-written primer will be appreciated by the community, but a bad or lackluster primer is not only a waste of time and energy, but it's also frustrating for people who want to learn how to pilot a deck properly. So let's not waste any more time and get started. Before we can talk about what makes a good primer, we first have to be on the same page uh, for as what a primer actually is or is not supposed to be. For me, a primer is some sort of written information about a deck type or a deck list that is intended to inform those who are interested in it about everything they need to know to successfully brew and pilot this deck. So you could actually say that a primer is some sort of manual for a deck. The first primer I came across was actually the Gitrock primer on Tapped Out. And I immediately understood why primers are so common and necessary in CDH, but there are almost no primers for other decks in other formats. So why do we need primers? Well, the answer is actually quite simple. The complexity of a four-player singleton competitive format is beyond of that of any other competitive format in MTG. Turning MTG's strategic side to over 9000 makes it extremely important to have a manual for a deck or at least for most archetypes. From general game plan to single card discussions, from combos and synergies to mulligan decisions, from tutoring advice to dealing with certain sex pieces, without some sort of manual, piloting a new deck can be an almost impossible task. And the collective experience and knowledge of other players can help you with that. This is especially true for people who just started playing CDH or for those who have little to no experience with a certain archetype, like if you never played stacks before or if you never piloted a Turbonaut stack before. If you play CDH like a 1v1 format, you will inevitably lose games. See? A good manual can make the difference. Unfortunately though, most manuals, or let's call them primers, actually suck. And here is why. Nowadays, a lot of people in our community race to be the first one to brew a list or the first one to present a primer to the community. And the reason for that is simple. Community recognition or what we call clout. If you follow the spoiler season for a new set, you will see that within minutes of a new viable commander being spoiled, there will be the first lists on Moxfield and Tapped Out. And within a day or two, there will be the first primers online. And all of these lists and all of these primers have one thing in common. They almost always suck. They are usually poorly written, unorganized and lack critical information. And of course they do. How the fuck do you expect to write a good manual or a good primer to a new deck within a day or two? What are the pros and cons of the deck? How the hell would you know? You've just been playing it for one or two days. What builds and cards are viable for the deck? Again, how the fuck do you know you have just been playing it for one or two days? Writing the Urza primer took me almost a year. A year of getting constant feedback from my peers on the Discord server and gaining more and more experience with the deck myself. When new cards get printed or the meta shifts substantially, you have to adapt your primer and your list to that. Check Moxfield, do it. The majority of primer are a lackluster excuse for a manual and haven't been updated in month. And there's another issue with Cloud. 15 primers for one of the same deck that almost always only differs in like 5 to 10 cards why? Why do we need that? Well, because everyone thinks that their primer is the best and their list is the best and everyone wants a bit of that tasty, tasty cloud. Well, let me tell you something. Your list is probably not the best list and your primer is not what the community has been waiting for. You will gain little to no recognition and people won't value you more or less for a lackluster primer. But Eisenherz, you just said that we need primers. Yeah, well, we need primers, but we need good ones, not five bad ones from five different authors. So what's the solution? Collaborative primers. Instead of chasing cloud and being the first one to deliver a crap product, reach out to your peers, get together on Discord, take your time and produce something that's of value for the community. Your collective experience, the so-called hive mind, 
the constant high quality feedback from your peers will inevitably lead to a much higher quality product in the end. Just to be clear though, there are primers that were written by a single person and that are very good and very informative. But in my opinion, collaborative primers are the future. I will link some collaborative primers in the description box below just to give you an idea of what I mean. But this video isn't supposed to be a rant. As I already said, I have some experience in writing primers for different decks. And I want to quickly break down how I write a primer. And I will also give you guys a template. Some of you might know that by profession I'm a high school teacher. So it's literally my job to break down information and make it palatable for students. And one of the most important aspects of doing that is knowing your audience. What does that mean? Well, who are you writing this primer for? How do you grab their attention? What information is critical for them and what information maybe isn't at this point? This is crucial, because otherwise you will either overwhelm your audience or you will bore them to death. Let me give you a quick example. I once read an Urza primer that went into detail about how the stack works and how priority works in EDH, even providing diagrams and examples. That's good and all, but it's catering to the wrong audience. A primer, with some very specific exceptions, isn't supposed to explain the basic rules of a format, while also explaining a very complex deck. You wouldn't teach someone how to hold a knife and how to cook a dinner for six people all within the same lesson, right? It just makes no sense. So what makes a good primer? Well, a good primer grabs your attention with a short yet catchy abstract. A good primer is well organized with different paragraphs and headlines for different aspects of the deck. A good primer is easy to read and palatable with step-by-step -step directions for specific lines. A good primer is visually interesting with some amount of pictures instead of only text. Trust me, nobody wants to read your 30 page document. A good primer has all the necessary information without being overwhelming for those who only want to know the basics. But it also provides more information for those who want to dive deep into the deck and want to learn all the ins and outs about the deck. And with that approach I created a pretty detailed template which I now want to share with you guys and the whole CDH community. Let's have a look at it. As you can see on the left side, this template has basically everything a primer needs. An easy to digest and visually interesting introduction. A strategic breakdown. A section for combos and win cons. A single card discussion, sorted by card types. Gameplay advice like mulligans, tutor lines and general piloting tips. A section for further content like gameplay videos, deck text and other very good lists or budget lists. As well as a section to wrap everything up, add a FAQ, add the shoutouts and add a Discord link. Everything is laid out in a way so that you can just copy it and paste it into your deck list and add all the necessary information for your primer. To make it easier to understand, I also left in some examples, especially for combo lines and tutor lines. Keep in mind though that this is just a template for you to start with. Everyone has their own style of writing and some decks might need more categories and some might need less. Generally speaking though, I'm pretty certain that if you use this template and put your heads together as a team, you will produce a product that is of so high quality that new pilots and veteran players alike will value it. That being said though, not every list needs a primer. If you play Grixis Turbonaus lists, maybe you don't need to write a new fully fleshed out primer. Just add a link to an existing primer and add a short explanation of what makes your list unique. And with that, I'm out. As always, thank you for watching my video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends and leave a comment down below. This is Eisenherz and Auf Wiedersehen.